last step of setting up our base or our master WordPress install and then putting it on our new client website. So just to review, you can see I have all of my favorite plugins. Um, I set my uh, user API code and, and username so that's all clear. You can see I have my themes added. I have to update that. Oops, these. Going to delete. Just click on the theme, delete. So I will leave the Divi site, the Divi theme, and one default WordPress theme. So once I have that all up, I'm going into WP Clone. Oh, actually, and I also wanted to show you, I added some pages. So you can see I have some pages here as well. Pages that I use pretty much all the time for all projects. You know, you don't want to get too many in there that you'll just have to delete later. So I'm going to WP Clone. And I'm going to create a backup. I just click on it, say OK. And it could take a moment or two. You can see it's sort of slowly rotating around. So kind of just let it do its thing. And then we have the URL. You can copy the URL or you can highlight and copy it. And then this is my new client website. And I have phone installed. I'm going to restore the URL, I'm going to paste it, and agree to the terms, and then restore and say OK. Now, again, it might take you a few minutes. There have been times where I've gotten an error here, and I go through the process again, and it typically works. So um, you may need to try another browser, you may need to paste it again, just kind of be patient, give it a few tries if it doesn't work the first time. And then we want to resave the permalink structure. Absolutely. So I'm going to click on that. This is what I want, the post name. Sometimes it comes in as default, which you don't want. So you would just say post name and you would save it. And then your very blank installation now has pages. It has the theme that you want, and it has your plugins. So you are good to go. Good luck.